Oh! Which way to go? Hello everybody, Hootastic here, and I have a game for you. This game is called Cenovel Incident 44. The uh, Urban Explorer enters uh, Cenovel to bring a little sanatorium to film a document. A film and document the area. The facility was used in the past to house tuberculosis patients back in 1944. Remnants of the trauma and death still linger in the air as many torturous events and incidents and the building went unseen. Uh -uh. So this is the same person that made the game uh, Green One Incident 77. And some people said that wasn't a horror game. It's like, what are you expecting? Some games, some horror games don't require zombies. They don't require demons. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's the atmosphere, how you make the game that makes it horror. So with that being said, let's do it to it. You must immerse yourself into each horror game, people. Or it won't be scary. All right, nice and smooth. Okay, I, I can do smooth. Mm -hmm. All this must report to security. All right, cool. Oh, uh, yuck. Instruction engines only. And it's storming. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Is that outside? Oh, that is outside. That's a big hole in the wall. Okay. And you still got that nasty ass thing on your window, on your, uh, hammer. Whoa. Mannequin. All right, cool. No, that's too early. Ooh. Too early to start now. That's what we got. Not spinning around. There we go. We're going to hit E to read. Stomping out tuberculosis is almost and most important thing for the future of the city of Sinful. We have been taking action and pre precautions towards keeping the spread at bay. Furthermore, the new Sanville Sanatorium has space for many patients with plans of future expansion and more floors added to the building. All right, now. <laughs> uh, see the crowd's all the way down. Whoa. Oh, I'm standing on something. Let's get back up. Let's get back up. Say cheese. I just see my camera grow. Oh, there we go. There's somebody behind me. It says E, take a closer look. Can't get any closer than this.
Oh boy. Gosh, oh my, I tell you right now. <laughs> Please, I'm Nelly, baby. Holy crap! Holy crap! Julius Day, page one, patient number 65821. Gave up my doses of Ripifen, Ripamifen, whatever. Combined with isonize and whatever that is. The doctors have told me if I am lucky, I should be out of here in nine months. I'm thankful for the help I have been provided. I can't wait to get back home and sleep in a normal bed. This place feels like a, a, ner a never ending loop of the same events, repeating and repeating. I long for the day in which I can finally travel back to your family. Whoa, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see this chair behind me when I got over here now. And the table, is, and this is rolling around. Oh, physics, you can actually hit that. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Don't do that to me now. Oh my gosh! Well, I thought you was gonna do something. You ain't about nothing. Eh mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. What do I need to grab it for? Oh, there's a reason I gotta pick that up now. What you say? No one is safe. Read. No one is safe from the disease known as tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is one of the world's most deadly diseases every day. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of people lose their lives to this horrible disease. Disease usually affects the lungs. 90% cases with symptoms of coughing, hematosis, chest pain, shortness of breath, fever, weight loss, uh, respiratory failure, and ultimately leading to an early death for people of all ages. We must be vigilant in fighting this disease and avoid close contacts to reduce the spread. Dr. Benjamin Vanicott of St. Paul Sanitarium has said that he is the uh, that the forefront of lung surgery for those severely affected will be saved and will save as many lives as he possibly can. Woo wee! Alright. Alright, Crow. I see that arm. Hold on a second. I'm not even ready to go over there. Oh, well, that's going down. Oh, jeez. Did I fall now? Or oh, this goes up more stairs. All right. Oh, get off. Man. But that one's upside down, and for what? Alright, so... Gotta remember, I picked up uh, a wheelchair. There has to be a meaning for that. 
take part in the America's crusade against the brickulosis. Okay, pre prevent disease, all right. Let's head on up. TV sets, okay. Wow. All oh, okay. We are on the third floor. They are all over the place. Where are they? I just see the aberration going down the steps. So I'm not going that way. Ah, 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 ah. Fix my shit. Ghosts up here. Every town, the town in which you and I live, is a door, down, east, or west. Our home, our work, our recreation make every town what it is. Every town is on the moon, swinging in the rhythm of the United States. There's not many, um, there's not that many, um, newspaper ads. I see that. Uh, Dyer, page three, page number 65821. It's been six months since I arrived here this week. We have been enrolled in new activities, walking around in the forest nearby and gathering berries and such. I got this new small TV in my bed this month as well. It's helped me pass time, although my illness is still getting progressively worse. I have been coughing up blood and the x-ray pictures reveal tuberculosis in my right lung. Benjamin Venica has assured me that it must continue my treatment. Straight up murder. All right, let's go up. <laughs> Man. Whoops, 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 where am I lost? 
lost myself for a minute. Oh, there's an iron lock! <gasps> Where's that noise coming from? Somebody just ran past. Um. Which hazel? Anti man. Okay, which hazel? We gotta go in that room. We're gonna drop under here and see what's under here. Hmm. All right, so. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Not yet, anyway. I'm going up. Oh, crap! I never went through this door. Thirty kill by Blaze at Sanatorium here. Oh gosh! This week's top story is about a disaster at Sanville Sanitarium. The sanitarium was built in 1930, later in 1939, when the facility decided to explain, expand its order to house more patients. Tragedy struck as a fire broke out in the kitchen on the third floor in the middle of the night. The fire killed 30 patients and some of their caretakers. Many were injured and left with second and third degree burns. It's a violent incident. According to the, according to Hans, the chief executive, I get Hans, Hans, the chief executive officer and CDO of Sanville, the accident was called by a faulty oven in the kitchen area. An ongoing lawsuit has been filed by the government officials as there is speculation as to what actually caused the fire to begin with. There's another note. Patient receiving fresh air. Okay. But that looked like they're outside. Just laid out outside. Uh, diary, page four. Patient number 865821 has now, it's now been eight months since I arrived here. The brickless is now spread to both my lungs. I have a hard time even catch my breath. The doctors, excuse me, the doctors are preparing me for surgery. As I sit in this wheelchair and I try, as I sit in this wheelchair and I try to get some fresh air on the balcony. Thank you. 
Alright, now we're on the way up. You must be absolutely fearless. To come in here by yourself in the dark while it's storming. To record? I promise you, there's not enough money. To have ever asked me to come up here and do some shit like this. You are an absolute liar. <laughs> Requires a key. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh gosh. Unlock your mind. Oh, I know something about to happen in here. I know it. That is a skull head. I thought it was a key. That is not what I'm looking for. What? Dire page five, patient number 65821. It has now been almost nine months since I arrived here. Surgery is due, but I'm considering fleeing this place. There are rumors of doctors injecting us with some newly developed drug. I have also been seeing hallucinations of a trench coat wearing disfigured man. I am so physically weak, I can barely make it to the bathroom. I feel that this is it. This is the place I would die. But I must get the truth out. Benjamin Vonnecott and Hans have been experimenting on us. They're keeping stuff from us, probably due to financial gain or sick fantasies. Consider this a final note, my eternal goodbye. Good gosh. And I bet you got the key, don't you? Is that the key in the back of your head? That's the key in the back of your head! Oh my gosh. You have no idea how nervous I am. Even though I'm taking my time. Once again, the spreading of the sprinklers in the city of these of San Jose source and new highs. As these past few months, I have been, I have seen an increase of upwards of 200,000 in the city of San Jose. In other words, in other news, Further investigation into an ongoing lawsuit towards Sayville. Mm -mm. Sanitarium continues. There are rumors about the insider with knowledge as to what started a fire in the kitchen. The rumors tell the incident being intentionally caused as well as one of the patients disappearing permanently on the night of the fire. Hmm. 
And other patients have been talking about the visions of the this figure tall man wearing a trench coat in the hook. And he said he roams the halls at night looking for people to kidnap. And to the, for somebody's behind me, man. Some even claim that he was the same patient that started the fire and got hurt in the process and then escaped, but something must have brought him back. This could all just be very well side effects and hallucinations for the pharmaceutical drugs. That is all from this week. I did not see this guy laying here when I picked this paper up. Oh, I gotta go this way. Oh. Oh, crap. What is this? So I see something over here on the ground over here. I'm going to go check it out. That's a body and a paper. Published 1994. N published 1944. The incident 44. The closure of Santa Fe Sanitarium. The spread of tuberculosis is now out of control, with upwards of 5,000 new cases a day. The facility is being sued for multiple cases of fraud, experimentation of patients with drugs, and terrible living conditions being hidden away from officials. Benjamin Vancouver has been accused of torturing and experimenting on patients. A woman named Julie has spoken out in the hopes of media taking hopes of the media picking up on this. Furthermore, missing people have been increasing around the area since a building caught fire in the kitchen in 1939. Patients have been experimenting with nightmare for years on end of a disfigured trench coat wearing hook wearing a tall man. Many say that this is just a phenomenon and a side effect of normal treatment. Similar to how brains are Coded to see faces in every in everything, and similar to how and similar to how some see shadow people when we're heavily medicated. Nonetheless, with all these things combined, the facility has been forced to shut down, pending lawsuit over the Senate. Okay. This is insane. Who murdered all these people? Can I walk on this? Jeez, man. All right. I think that's everything up top. Let's look up here one more time. There's nothing at all, right? Okay. All right, let's head on back down. Did it change?
Doctor, he was still heavily sedated, but the effects are wearing off. Let's get him right in the... Oh, gosh. Oh, color, he will learn. He will never be the same. Just my bigger face and body never will from the flea. Leave him in the dark. Leave him in the dark? Why? So shall it be, we'll, we'll leave him in the darkness. If he is still breathing within a few days, he'll bring him to the others. Oh! Recovered from a secret room hidden within some of the by unknown individual. The content will then show the person being drugged and interrogated with a small room. A projector is running, showing a Rorschach like image repeating repeatedly. Oh my gosh! So, wow. Wow. That was an incredible game. Wow. There are the, there's a boatload of jump scares in here. It got me good. It got me good. Um, bravo to you, Dev, for making this game. Because holy crap. I am definitely glad you made it. Because I'm absolutely sure. I'm glad I played it. With that being said, I am hortastic. There's a Sandville Incident 44. And I am gone.